guys welcome back to my channel and today i've come back with another short video guys and this video is totally different from most of the videos i've been doing and today i'm going to share with you my experience while i was doing water fasting for five days so guys first of all i'm not a doctor so you need to consult your doctor before you engage into water fasting second I did my own research and I don't have any health problem so I'm not on medication so I think for me it was okay to continue with this challenge water fasting so and I did this for two reasons guys I did this to detox my body that was the first reason why I wanted to do the water fasting and the second was to lose weight so guys if you want to see how it went down let's go ahead and get started and i weigh myself i was weighing 61.3 in the morning and it was really very hard because at around midday because that is the time when i have my lunch i started to feel hungry and the water was tasting horrible so it wasn't easy for me because <laughs> I was missing food, but in my head, I said, Jennifer, you need to do it. So I continued. By that time I ended my day one, I was really, really very hungry. I wanted to eat, but I remember when my hubby was cooking food, I had to hide myself in the bed so that I don't smell the food maybe it can lead me to temptation and the day one went against me. myself when i've lost some few pounds and i will leave the photo here up to see how much i was weighing and day two was horrible for me because i was craving for food and i had my daughter at home because she was sick she couldn't go at school and i had to cook for her so it was really very hard for me and I gave her lunch, but I was feeling to eat. But I said, no, you don't have to do this. So she finished to eat her food and I went in my bed. I had to sleep the whole day while she was also asleep next to me. So that's how the day went. But she was really challenging and I was feeling lazy. I don't know why and in the evening I started to have a headache but when I was doing my research they say that in order the headache to go away you need to take water so I continued taking my water and that's all that's how that on day three I weighed myself and I'd lost some few clothes I leave here the photo to see how much I was weighing and day three was horrible for me because i started to feel like vomiting and the taste in my mouth was horrible and i started to how do you say shivering the legs they were shaking i don't know why but i was really very weak and the only thing what i did was just lying in my bed with my bottle of water and that's all it was so hard day three that is 72 hours and i think that is when the body start to enter into ketos that is when your body start to burn more fat burn fat for energy so i think that was the reason why but i was so weak so i say you need to hold on because i promised to myself i need to do five days and that's how day three ended myself and I will leave you a photo to see how much I was weighing. But day four was incredible, guys, because <laughs> my, my energy level was boosted up. I don't know how, but I was feeling full of energy. I took my kids at school. I managed to walk around for one mile and I did my housework. But guys, my body was full of energy so day four according to my experience was like a normal day when i'm having food i was full of energy so that's how i ended my day and the only thing what i can say from day four 
the hunger went away the craving went away so i was not thinking any more of food also you pass the food in front of me i was not feeling also the smell my brain had already switched off from the food so i was feeling yeah you have to do it you can do it so that's how the day four ended morning i weigh myself again i'll leave you the photo and guys in the morning i was feeling okay not full of energy like default but from noon i started to feel sick and i was feeling like vomiting i don't know why but i was very weak on day five so i said yes i promised myself i need to do this water fast for five days so what i did was just sleeping i slept and at around 10 p.m because that's when i started to to fast when i made it to day five i took two pieces of watermelon and after 30 minutes i prepared myself vegetable soup and I was feeling good. Oh my God, you can't imagine how the body was missing to have food. It was so nice. I felt good. But the only thing what I discovered after my fast, I will no longer take sugar anymore. That is the good thing. And the salt, I take just a pinch of salt, which is okay for me. But that's how I ended my day five. So guys, yeah, that's how it went down. Before and after, I will show you how I was looking like before I started fasting and how I ended up looking like after fasting. And guys, this is my conclusion. Water fasting is incredible. Guys, if you have your reason why you feel to do this water water fasting challenge you can do it guys as i said in the beginning for me it was just to detox my body and to lose some weight and which i managed to do it so imagine if i'd fasted for 10 days i don't know where i would have ended and how i would have been looking like but i'm so happy with my results guys so and before i conclude guys you need to consult your doctor before you join the water first and second you need to listen to your body if your body says no you better stop because water fasting also is dangerous if you you fast for longer days or longer term fasting it's dangerous so guys Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please welcome. Don't forget to click that red button, of course, to subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video. Bisous.